Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Riggleman, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about thyroid function. There are people out there who have thyroid dysfunction, whether it's hypothyroidism or whether you have the autoimmune Hashimoto's thyroiditis, who are being mismanaged and their doctors tell them that their lab work looks normal, but they may still have thyroid symptoms. So I kind of want to explain and give the initial phase of why your doctor may not be able to uncover this because they may be running the wrong tests and where the mechanism of action could lie in your body of why you still have the thyroid symptoms that you do. So the gold standard for evaluating thyroid function is going to be TSH. So TSH isn't even produced by the thyroid. It is actually produced by the pituitary, which then stimulates the thyroid to release its hormones. So let's actually talk about the thyroid hormone, its hormones itself. So The thyroid is going to produce two separate hormones. We have T4, which is inactivated thyroid hormone, and then we're going to have T3, which is going to be activated. It's ready to go. So T3 can go right to the cells and can be utilized. And you have thyroid receptors on every cell in your body, so that's a lot of places. But T4 still has to be converted. So the ratio that your body makes these hormones is 93% of the hormone that it makes is going to be inactivated. And 7% is going to be ready to go already activated. So as you can see, T4 is going to have to be converted, and that's the majority of what you've got. Now, if you are already on thyroid replacement hormone, whether that's Synthroid or Levothyroxine, you are getting T4. So it's not activated yet. You still, your body still has to activate it for it to be useful. You can have enough thyroid hormone T4 floating around in your blood, but if zero of it's getting converted to T3 and then getting to the cell to be utilized, you're still going to have thyroid symptoms. And that is the mechanism of why so many patients get their lab work back and their doctor has looked at TSH and T4 and they said, your numbers are great. Your thyroid's working you know, perfect, but yet you still don't feel like your thyroid's working optimally. You may have um, dry skin, you may be overweight, you might be constipated, you know, hit cold hands and feet. Those are all classic signs that your thyroid may be working, but you may not be converting and you may not be getting it to the cell because if it doesn't ultimately get to the cell, you're still going to produce a symptom. So, I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit today about that thyroid. Um, I'm going to make some follow-up videos here where we're actually going to be diving into how does your body convert thyroid hormone to active thyroid hormone. So um, we'll talk about the places in the body where that can go wrong and what mechanism of action, actions can be addressed so that you can get thyroid hormone to the cells that is activated and ready to go. So if you are suffering from any sort of thyroid dysfunction and still don't feel normal, or if you know somebody that is, please share this video and let them know that I'm going to be making follow-up videos. Um, and it might uncover uh, truly what's going on in your body and give you a little bit of insight.